Okay, what's the latest um, in Gaza? Zippy Hotabeli, ambassador of Israel to the United Kingdom, is with us looking at the death toll. 11,240 Gazans, according to the Palestinian authorities. When's it going to stop? Oh, well, it's going to stop when Hamas will release our hostages, when Hamas will surrender, when Hamas will say, I'm not controlling the Gaza Strip anymore and I'm not making this city a city of terror. This is when it's going to stop. And this is our duty to the people of Israel to protect them, to make sure the 7th of October won't be repeated, just like Hamas spokesperson keeps on saying, we will do it again and again and again. This is a uh, ideology that is a jihadi ideology that is dangerous both to Israelis and to the Palestinians. And this is why we must finish the job of dismantle all Hamas capabilities in the Gaza Strip. And hospitals. The hospitals is a very good point, Kay. Um, I'm so glad you're raising it because think what type of monstrous mind you need to have in order to make all your headquarters based in hospitals when you know you're making the patients your human shield. Isn't it a monstrous way of thinking of Hamas that they're taking those small babies out of the incubators? I, I mean, I was watching it yesterday. You have the babies there and Israel is offering every help that can be offered. We brought incubators that can be protected by ambulances. We, we offer to evacuate those babies to the south area, to a safe place, to a safe hospital. We want to get, give them the best treatment in the world. And Hamas is using it to their propaganda. They're taking the babies out of the incubators, even though there is no reason to. There are backup incubators that Israel is providing. And, and look, I, I, I'm telling you, this is a sick mindset of Hamas, that he prefers to present his babies as if Israel is killing them, when he's the one who's making them lose life because of their uh, cruel behavior for their own people. This, this, is, this is really something that everyone should condemn Hamas for. This is a war crime. This is a clear war crime. Using hospitals as headquarters, turning them into military facilities and using innocent babies in order to show propaganda against Israel. Nothing can be more cruel than that. But what about bombing those hospitals? So, as you know, the last few days, Israel is putting a corridor, humanitarian corridor, to all the people to be evacuated back to a safer place in the south. You know, Israel knew from the very first day that the Shifa Hospital is Hamas headquarters. So we could have bombed Shifa Hospital on the first day. Why didn't we do that? Just because our humanitarian care, we wanted to make sure innocent civilians are not caught in a crossfire. We let the world know, we shared our intelligence, both with the British, with the, with the Americans. We showed the world this is not an innocent hospital. This is actually a military base using the patients as human shields. So we shared with the world, but still 39 days to the war, and Israel is still being hit by Hamas rockets, and we didn't bomb those hospitals because we want the patients to be evacuated. So this is how humanitarian Israel's approach is. No other countries in the world, according to the international law, we can attack every military facilities. And this is definitely a military facilities. This is the headquarter of Hamas. But we're not doing it before everyone can peacefully evacuate. And we are actually giving so much assistance to the people in the hospitals to make sure they will get to a safer place. We're not interested to harm civilians. We're just interested to make Make sure the Hamas headquarter won't exist. Your actions have to be proportionate though, don't they? Do you feel that they're proportionate? Absolutely, because uh, the way the international law defines proportionate is the goal of the war and your actions. The goal of the war is to make sure the military machine of Hamas will be dismantled. In order to do that, you need to tackle the underground terror city that Hamas has built. I, I want to tell you something. We thought it was 300 kilometers. As we go deeply into the Gaza Strip, we realize every second house has this entrance to um, actually to an underground uh, terror city. So they basically turned all the houses in the Gaza Strip to their own facilities. They took over schools, masks, hospitals, almost everything you can imagine. Think about it as a ghost city that is turning into a terror city because they build this a thousand kilometers underground city. By the way, it cost a billion dollars to do that. So where all this money came from? From the generous support of the international community, they were thinking they're giving the money to the poor people of Gaza, but eventually it was Hamas stealing this humanitarian aid, 
giving it to its own military machine, creating this underground terror city. So this is this whole, as horrific as it gets when you think about Hamas abuse of international aid. So you need to make sure Hamas won't exist after the war finishes. Back to the hospitals. Uh, Biden says that hospitals in Gaza Strip need to be protected better than they are. Uh, we definitely agree they need to be evacuated. We don't want to, to hurt the patients. So we want the hospitals to be evacuated. We already created a humanitarian corridor to create a safe way for the patients to go out. And it's oh, Hamas that is preventing the, oh, the patients to go. Are you going to provide um, uh, the necessary ambulances for those who can't? We did, we did. We supplied already the ambulances. So, why are you saying that then? We are saying that. We are saying that clearly. Yeah, just this morning, we saw IDF spokesperson having a, a footage of ambulance with incubators. So you know Israel is providing everything you need in order to make sure innocent children, babies, won't be hurt in the Gaza Strip. We care about human life. They don't. When they kidnap our children, yeah, there are over 30 dead. children. There, there are babies there. dead. But where is your sympathy to those children? I mean, you were interviewing here the mothers of those innocent children that are still kidnapped in Hamas hands. 39 days, not even one single of life, signal of life from those poor babies that are kept hostage in Hamas hands. This is the real humanitarian crisis we need to speak about. The fact that Israelis still today don't know what happened to those children, don't know what happened. And as, as a woman, I must say, that the fact there are over 100 women that Hamas is keeping in his hands, innocent women did nothing uh, uh, to, to be in this horrible situation. This is something we all should protest. Holding women and babies is a war crime, and Hamas is committing this war crime. What about those babies that are dying in Gaza? I feel bad for every loss of life, but thank God, over a million Palestinians went, they listened to the Israeli alerts, they, they prefer to be in the south area of Gaza, even though Hamas was trying to prevent them to do that. And I hope that every single individual in Gaza will be protected in those specific shelters Israel created with the international community, with the NGOs that are working on, on, on the field in, in the south area of Gaza. We can complete this war with minimised casualties. We, we are trying to do our best to minimise casualties. 11,000 dead. Some of them are terrorists, as you know. Not all of them. We're not, we're not targeting civilians, we're just targeting... What percentage do you think are terrorists? Can I, can, I believe over 50%. And if I may say something, your defence minister, the your defence secretary, uh, Grant Shapps, yesterday, was saying here in Sky, Sky News, he was saying, wait a second, we forgot how war looks like? Civilians get caught in a crossfire, but as opposed to Britain in the Second World War, that it was indiscriminately hurting the cities of Germany, it's Israelis that are actually doing their best to minimise casualties. So we're not in the Second World War days. We're actually trying to minimise casualties. We're not targeting civilians, and we're doing our best to keep the people of Gaza safe, but we still need to target Hamas facilities that are based, as I said, in schools, in mosques, in hospitals. So we're trying to evacuate those places to make sure that this underground city of Hamas will be totally destroyed. Do you acknowledge then, from what you're saying, uh, that obviously that has not been destroyed as yet, so inevitably there will be more civilian casualties? If, again, if everyone will take a safer shelter in the south area of Gaza, we will minimise casualties. There have, been, uh, there have been targets in the south, though, haven't they? No, we're not targeting. Those specific areas, are, we know where they are and we don't target those places. So I can, I can confirm clearly, Israel is not targeting the places where the Palestinians have their shelters and we are targeting Hamas military machine that must be destroyed in order to have a better future, both to Israelis and Palestinians. Unfortunately, we must uh, leave it there, but we appreciate you taking the time. Thank you As very always, much. Madam Ambassador.